All right, y'all. Let's let's just get into Candace Diller because, child, sit down. So Candace is coming for Andy Cohen now, of course. Candace is always coming for somebody. So she's saying that Andy Cohen has built this entire Real Housewife franchise off of the backs of black women, which I don't necessarily disagree. But Candace, Candace. Candace, can we talk about how you like to antagonize women to the point of no return? So way back in 2019, yes, I said way back because there was a lot to cover. Candace and Ashley are arguing at this dinner table because basically Candace called Ashley and her husband a liar about miscarriaging. Now, Candace, you know better. You just, you simply know better. We don't even need to talk about this. I don't care what Ashley said after that. You cannot sit here and call somebody a liar about death. Are you serious? Are you serious? But it's this next part of the argument that is truly... Truly the problem. Candace decides to pick up a knife because Ashley made a comment saying, don't do stuff like your mother. Candace picks up the knife, slamming it on the table saying, you're not gonna talk about my mother. Like girl, weapons, weapons, but okay, let's fast forward. 2020, Candace versus Monique. Now, Monique was introduced to Candace through Ashley. So that's how we got here. Monique basically tried to mend the situation that was going on saying, you know, don't take digs at her like your mother does to you. Candace didn't like that, of course, because her and her mother have their own mommy's order issues. So then their beef started. Example right here. Monique is sleep. Okay, she sleep. She's a mother of children. She got a husband. She got a life. She has things to do. Candace is somewhere in the background of this scene basically trying to act like Ashley's not sleep. Like, oh, you're playing sleep. You're playing sleep. You're antagonizing this lady. Even if she is playing sleep, she don't want to talk to you. So why are you bothering her? So after many episodes of them having beef, they get here the night of the legendary fight. We all know. Candace gets in Monique's face. Monique gets right back in her face. And then Candace actually throws the glass. We've all dissected this scene. Candace threw that glass and it hit Monique. And from there, Monique intensified the grip she had on her hair because Monique did grab hair first. But she wasn't letting this thing go. And I would not have either. You're not throwing a glass at my mug, girl. Absolutely not. It's so crazy how somebody that likes to pick up uh, silverware and dishes as weapons is so like, oh my God, I'm crying, but you know. At this point, I'm pissed because you can tell Monique is over it. She leaves the show. It's Candace's fault. I'm sorry. I live for Monique. Ashley also backed up the situation like, girl, you are violent and you antagonize women and that's not cool. But like Candace always does, she breaks down, she plays the victim very, very, very well. Because she convinces a lot of people, but I mean. So let's forget about the tissues. Welcome to 2021, Candace versus new cast member, Mia. Candace really just be coming for everybody, I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to get to their growing beef in part two. All right, so we're back with Candace and her mini beefs with everybody in the entire Real Housewives franchise, including Andy Cohen. But today we're going to focus on her and Mia. Now, Mia is new to the franchise. This is her first season, and I honestly like her personality on the show. But it was at this point that I knew Candace thought otherwise. So after a bunch of small exchanges, nothing too big, because Mia honestly does know how to walk away from a situation, Candace and Mia are in Giselle's backyard. <laughs> now, Giselle knows she had no business inviting these ladies over to her house and then not, not even letting them inside. She was giving, my house being renovated, the West End, all of this, all of that. Y'all girls was in the driveway, Ken. But that's neither here nor there. Candace, at this point, is calling Mia insecure. She's all of these derogatory terms, basically trying to demean her confidence, just like break her down. And I don't like that, Candace. And I don't think Mia enjoyed that either. So let's fast forward a few episodes to the couple's trip. Now, Mia and her husband are on the trip having a good time. He is a ball of energy. He's a lot to deal with when he's drunk. And Candace is basically going around the house to all of the other ladies, talking trash about Mia's husband and her and how he talks to her. But love, stay out of these people's relationships. It didn't just being messy, just like going around the house talking about her. Like, girl, that's so childish. And mean. And that's honestly what started this entire argument. Mia was talking to another cast member saying, she's so mean, she's so mean. Candace is so mean. And Candace is like, I can hear you. You can speak louder. So then she goes into the room with Mia. Mia is honestly being very, like, nonchalant and shady. And it is really grinding Candace's gears. So then right here, you see her hand. She picked up a few pieces of lettuce. And she throws them at Mia. Now, I know this looks bad on Mia's behalf because she's throwing the salad back, but Candace had just got done reading her mother 
talking about Mia's mother's low budget and a lot of the cast members, and I'm pretty sure Candace knew as well because news travels, <laughs> that Mia and her mother are trying to mend their relationship. Mia's mother is just getting back on her feet, honestly, from struggling with addiction. So here Candace goes, throwing this super low blow, expecting nobody to react. But Mia decided, I'm not paying it today. I'm throwing this salad back at you because why would you ever throw this salad at me, Miss Thing? So, you know, that's all Candace needed, okay? She then is giving full on rage. It's crazy to see this lady here at her most true self. Her most true self. That is real anger. But again, my girl Mia, what is she doing? Paying it. She's walking away. Girl, she said, girl, you are a child. You are literally a child. And that leads us right here to Candace exemplifying herself and her childish behavior. In all of these screenshots of her crying, she somehow started this issue, but fails to realize and take accountability for it. Now that would be growth. Stay tuned for my actuals and factuals, girl. 